Hi guys, D Sims here and welcome back to the channel and today I bring to you the Novak Farms Wedding Barn. It is the wedding build we've been building on the channel for a while now. I finally finished decorating it and getting all the furniture in and finishing all the landscaping and all of the terrain painting and it took me so long but I'm so happy that this is done. Um, so I've just been really like extremely busy with my um, like my full time job and it's just been delaying a lot of videos on the channel like this one and big sister but um, things are starting to slow down so I'm starting to have more time to work on videos which I'm really excited about. So like I said in this video we this is the entire wedding barn. I was going to break it up into two videos because it was a lot of footage, but I just sped it up a tiny bit more and I took out some of the things that you didn't have to see. For instance, um, one thing I messed up on was I did not put in the, um, there's like a backdrop behind the wedding arch where they get married. I totally forgot to put that, like I totally forgot to repress record when we were live streaming. So it is like recorded technically on the channel. It's a live stream of it. So if you would like to see that, it will be in the Meadows Life playlist. I will link that playlist in the description so you guys can check that out. But I forgot to record that part. But if you wanna see it live, uh, go ahead and look at it, but it's like with the waterfall and all the plants behind it super cute So this barn is like my dream like I would love Absolutely love to get married in this barn. It is so beautiful and um, If you don't know much about like my personal style, I like a lot. Okay I have a mixture of styles, but I really do like a lot of like wood and like natural wood and ivy and just cuteness like I love it distressed wood anything that looks old and vintage it is like my favorite ever and I love bringing the outdoors inside so it's just like the best disable um I'm currently looking for a succulent, and that is such a gross word, but it's so cute. Um, so if you don't know what succulents are, they're like little plants that pretty much don't die. I think they're like a form of cacti. I'm not sure, but it's like a little plant and you gotta clean it like once a month or something, clean like a petal. I don't know y'all, but they're super cute and they're like, you can make them look like really vintage and like put them in mason jars. So yes, one thing about me, I love mason jars. I love tea lights and this can uh, this candle, this lot has everything of that. So right here, you'll see me making, um, this is the entrance to the barn. This is the main barn um, on this quote unquote farm. So what I was thinking is that this is not the main farm. People was like, um, Grayson's family is all rich and it's from a pumpkin farm. It's not, this is just a part of their farm. I was thinking about turning that like really green place um, where Windingburg is into a farm, but I'll have to see because honestly, we're not even focusing on Grayson's parents. We're focusing on Meadow and Grayson. So if you don't know this, uh, oh my goodness, words are hard. This wedding barn is for my new LP, which is the spinoff series from Sierra Fam called Meadows Life. And this is where they're gonna be getting married. Um, Grayson, we found out that Grayson is like a little farm boy, a little country boy. He was really embarrassed by it, so he kind of like left, moved to like this place, became an athlete, and like he's really good at it, but he kind of forgot where he came from a little bit. And Meadow is really embracing it because they have two beautiful kids now, and Meadow always had like brothers and sisters, and they was always raised in their house. Like they went to camp at some point, but they never had, you know, the opportunity or the chances to like venture out and explore new things. So this like really intrigues Meadow to get married on this farm. Grayson don't know. Again, that machinima is coming soon um, because that will be the introduction to Meadow's life and their entire wedding will be a machinima and like I have poses and animations and I'm really excited to get it done but I think it's gonna be super cute so this like I said is the entrance 
to the barn. Um, I didn't want a big lot because I just, it's too much to do. And this was already a lot to do. Um, I am planning on doing a massive giveaway. And one of the things that I'm doing is giving away CC in a lot. So I was thinking that I could give away this, um, this lot with all of the CC included. Um, but more of that information will be, um, coming out later. But if you would like to get, like, if you think, I don't know, I don't know what is a good lot to like give away. But if you think that you would want this in your game, let me know in the comments down below and maybe I'll consider this because I'm only giving away one lot um, in my giveaway. I have a, I think I'm going to do something where there's about three winners, no, four winners. Um, and it's going to be a variety of stuff, giving away some CC in my folder, giving away um, some packs and just some general sims. So it's like my massive giveaway. Um, I was doing it when we hit 17k, but I didn't have enough time and we're already at 18k and I'm just, I want to cry and I want to thank you guys. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me cry and it's recorded. But, um, yeah, I had a lot of fun doing this. It took me, like I said, a while. It was, I think this was like seven record, like seven different, uh, video files. I've been recording this for a while now. And I just finally had time to sit down, finish it, because it was a lot of detail I want in it. And it's like, it's my LP and I take all of my LP builds and like families and all their storylines and stuff really seriously. So it's a lot. Uh, speaking of LPs, I do have um, some new stuff coming to the channel. I'm still getting it in the works. Like um, season one of Big Sister, has I think I have th including this episode I think we're gonna stop at episode 14 because I plot it out to 14 and I'm gonna be starting a new machinima series and big sister will be going on hiatus it's not ending it's just this season will be the end of this and then um but we're not I'm pretty sure we're not gonna be ending big sister until the end of the year just because it takes me a really 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 long time to do them um, but I think we're going to end Big Sister season 14, I mean, episode 14, and then I'm starting a new Machinima series, which I'm really excited about. It's going to be like a little mystery. And just to give you a hint of what it is, it's a mix. I got inspiration from Riverdale, Pretty Little Liars, and Life is Strange, the video game. So if that gives, if that, if you like any of those little things, um, it's, uh, I got huge inspirations from those things and, um, I'm currently writing out the story plot and getting everything like figured out. Like if you follow me on Snapchat, you know, I recently just bought me a new, um, what is it? A new, a journal. And when I have a, when I get my new journals or when I do my journals, it's because I plot. So I plot machinimas. So I, I, my whole journal for Big Sister is completely full, which is another reason why I'm ending it because I've done everything that I've written out from the very beginning. Um, and I think the next couple of ex episodes are going to shake your life. Um, and you know, I'm going to leave you on a cliffhanger, but I'm not going, I'm not going to do you that wrong. Like <laughs> I'm not going to do you that bad, but, um, I love writing. I love storytelling. I went to college for theater. Um, writing was one of my strong points. It wasn't what I was focusing in, but I really did enjoy it. I, what? I really enjoyed it. So, um, I had fun writing and plotting stuff. So I hope you enjoyed the last couple of episodes of season one of Big Sister. And then the new, I think I can tell you guys the title because I don't, th I don't think I'm going to change that. The new title of my new machinima is called The Book of Raven. And it is going to be something extraordinary. I'm really excited. Also with pets coming out in like less than a month, I think we got like three weeks. Um, there's going to be some play with that. And I know for a fact I am doing an LP on Sims 4 Cats and Dogs. Um, so you can look forward to that on the channel. And then we're still going to have Island Challenge as long as as long as we can get all our sims up to date oh my god i cannot believe this girl had three oh geez i'm over it anyway um yeah so there's a number of stuff coming to the channel a lot of new things 
I'm also playing some new games on the channel, which I'm really excited about. And I'm getting a lot of positive feedback about Saints Rose and we've been playing GTA. Uh, we're also starting a modded Minecraft series, me and Zarel, and we're doing like an SMP with a whole bunch of people. And I think I might be doing my own Minecraft series like by myself. I'm really excited about it because um, I have take I've added a ton of mods and shaders and textures in my game and because I got the beast computer lentil um or excuse me lentil because she's an intel computer. <laughs> anyway um because I have like this beast computer it can run all of these shaders and textures and Minecraft looks beautiful guys like it's crazy how beautiful it looks um, I will be putting definitely putting some screenshots on the side but if you want to see more of my screenshots from Minecraft make sure you follow me on Twitter so you need to follow me on snapchat and you need to follow me on Twitter and I'm gonna put both of those little things on the screen so you guys can see them because y'all needs to follow me cuz I'll be I'll be trying to be active on snapchat I'm doing better though um, but yeah, you see some sneak peeks and stuff in Snapchat and people be messaging me. We be talking all the time. It's beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. But like I said, I'm going to be starting some new games on the channel, um, like Minecraft. And um, also thinking about starting another new game on the channel once Island Challenge ends. Because it kind of gives me that Island Challenge feel. But I'm still thinking about that because I'm going to have a lot going on. So I don't want to like overbook myself, if you know what I mean. But um, I guess we could talk about the bill. I mean, who builds and talk about the bill? That's weird. Anyway, um, so like I said, this farm has a pumpkin patch. I thought that'd be really cute because it's going to be like kids there and um, little toddlers and stuff. And I thought pumpkin patch could be cute for them to go to. And just, um, I got the tables over there so they can like carve pumpkins. I wish we had more fall activities, but in the future, hopefully when we get seasons, we'll get things like bobbing for apples and like, I will want to see like maybe a hayride. I think that would be cute or like anything like, like finding a needle in a haystack kind of games. Like I just wanted like activities and stuff for them to do, doing like caramel apples and uh, just a number of things, but that hopefully should be coming soon. And I'm really excited for it when it comes. But yes, um, this lot does not have that much CC on it. It may look like it does, but honestly, it's just, a, I would say maybe like, maybe a hundred items, not even that much. I did use a little bit. I was about to say quite a few. I did use quite a few Maxis things, but not, mm, I mean, my, the flowers are definitely Maxis because I really don't tend to use um, CC landscaping because I do like the landscaping in The Sims 4, like the flowers and stuff we get. Um, I use fountains from Spa Day in the back, so you're going to have to have Spa Day if you want those fountains to work. Um, what else? What other packs did I use? I think I used the new... It was either toddler stuff. I don't think it's toddler stuff, actually. I think it's backyard stuff or the movie stuff pack for those lanterns you see right there by the pumpkins. I use those, um, but those are easily to those are easy to replace if you don't have those packs. If you get this in your game, if I decide to give this away um, for my giveaway, but I don't know if people are interested in having this in their game. Like, do you guys want this? Uh, like, would you want to, to? Oh my God, what is happening? Would you want to have the opportunity to win this, to have this in your game? And if so, then I'll definitely do it. I just don't know what people want. Because people always say, gee, I want your mods folder. Send me your mods folder. People email me, they Twitter me, they DM me. They Please give me your mods folder. And I'm, I can't. I worked hard for this mods folder. This mods folder is 20 plus gigabytes. That's a lot of CC hunting. I, I don't mind like uh, giving you links to stuff, but giving away my soldiers is just, ooh, it's a lot. It's a lot of work. But um, yes, in the back here, we're finally getting to the seating where the actual wedding will be taking place. 
we have a ton of flowers and I think it's super cute we do end up turning those floor petals that are yellow we end up turning those to pink because um, we've decided on a pink um, little backdrop and I'm giving you a little view of the wall and that was from the live stream and I did that because I didn't have the freaking file like the video file that I recorded I don't think I press record I think that was when I forgot to press record and everyone was like D what are you doing so yeah I kind of messed up a little bit there but um I did show you a little snippet of how it looks and plus you get to see it in the screenshots you saw with the little fountains running but um I found this new uh like floor pattern or floor design and it's like the dirt and it's like a darker dirt and i love it i use it all the time now um i think it's genius and it's the best like i said i love twinkle lights um i love fairy lights or whatever you want to call them and i love like natural wood so this lot is like my life it's so much so beautiful <laughs> Um, and I love like the columns and right here we're making a, um, a little shack. At first I was going to have the top of the barn, have the kitchen and a bathroom, but I decided to have like this open shack, um, because it just looked like this is stuff you'll see on the barn, like these kind of sheds or things like that. I did mess up with the arch because I should have raised the arch, um, so it can be like open, like floor to ceiling arch openings like I did for the barn but I forgot to do that um but you can just raise it yourself using the bracket no not the bracket key control nine will move objects on you can control that but I really like the white um please think of words D think of words the corrugated 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 uh roof or corrugated panel I don't know what it's called I um, wish we had horses because that little water barrel remind me of horses <laughs> so much. I want horses so bad. Um, but I also found these little barn doors, which I thought would be really cute um, as an opening. I wish, I wish, I wish I could have. I, I don't know. For some reason, I just forgot that you can lift arches to get like floor to ceiling openings. You can lift them. And I had every, like I had all the stuff I needed to lift them, but I just didn't remember that. So I recently just did all this footage that you're seeing right now. This is all of the stuff I recently just did um, by myself. Uh, I think like two days ago, I finished this and I posted stuff on Twitter and that little wagon, you can put hay and stuff on it and it's just so cute. We put hay on it in the, in the front of the barn. But I just think this lot is gorgeous like it has everything i can't wait for you guys to see what i did on the inside it has beams it has twinkle lights there's candles there's a bar there's a photo area for people to take like pictures and it is just beautiful i love those trees that we got from i don't know where we got those i think those could be base game trees or no i think they're holiday trees they came in a holiday pack we got like two years ago a free pack but i use those trees um, combined with some CC trees and they look really good. I love the Ivy. I just love this lot. It's everything I love. I love like the whole vintage and cottage, not cottagey cause I don't really like the cottagey stuff, but like, just like I love farmhouse chic. Anything farmhouse chic is like me. Distressed wood, stuff that looks uh, old. It's just my life. I love it so much and I love like I love nature like I wish I had the like resources where I live to like go not on like trails because I don't like bugs which is bad because I like nature but I love like waterfalls and like ponds and and I know you guys see that a lot in my gameplay like I I love stuff I love fishing I love gardening um I want to have my own herb garden. Like when I move into like my own, own, own apartment, like I cannot wait to have my own herb garden cause then it goes so well with cooking and I love to cook cause I be chefing y'all, I be chefing. If I ever have a meetup, I'ma cook. I'ma I'm make some stuff and then everybody can have some, I'ma make some shrimp and grits. <laughs> everybody can have some shrimp and grits at my meetup. It'll be cute though. Um, 
But like I said, this has the beams and I almost, almost forgot about the tree trunk beams that I have, but I didn't forget. I have tree trunk beams that I've been wanting to use for some kind of build. Um, and I finally used them and they look so good. It looks so good. I believe I cut out all of this beam work because it took me, yeah, it took a while for me to figure out the spacing and all of the stuff like that. But here we're adding all of the lights and I did end up using some of the, I think it's parenthood or toddler stuff, um, lights, those wall lights, is it toddler stuff? I think it's parenthood. One or the other, I did use those cause they actually looked good. Like. I didn't put them all over like I did outside. I just used them for certain things. But like this beam work just took so long and I find these beautiful chandeliers that we put in the barn and it's just gorgeous. It, it looks so freaking nice. And we went through so many pictures on Google and Pinterest just looking up ideas and I just, I'm in love with this. And they have really high ceilings and like, oh, it's just beautiful. But now one thing I decided to do was put the tables on in a room so I can copy the room um, because I did use the copy tool quite a bit in this build just because it was easier and it's a lot of like repetition. So as you can see right there, I put it on a room and I just ended up copying that table. I think four times we only have four sets of tables with six chairs, which is 24 people. I don't expect, we already got like 15 people in our family alone. And then once you add friends and stuff, that's a lot of people, shoot. We don't need no more than that. But I did like those chairs, but I ended up going for these like, um, these like fabric chairs or like upholstered. Why did I say fabric with the ED? Oh my God. Like these upholstered chairs, they look really wedding like. So I did that. Um, and at the end of this video, I think I ended up changing the wood. So right now we have like marble in the middle and like wood on the side. I think I ended up doing um, marble on the sides and wood in the middle. I can't remember though, but I was trying y'all. I was really trying. So did I just stop working? So I did this. This furnishing took me about two hours to do just because it was a lot of stuff. But can this keep going? Dang, D, what you doing? This is so dumb. I could have sworn I looked through all of this stuff. Anyway, back to the channel and stuff. But um, I'm seeing so many people play a lot of games on the channel and it's just making me want to do like some of my favorite games. Like we're doing Prison Architect, oh, which I have not uploaded in a minute. I, I just been so busy. Like this week has been really bad for videos. Um, I always play Single Father because it is literally a stress reliever. So you'll never see single father missing, but um, I don't know. I just been having so much fun with that LP and it's the best. Island Challenge stressed me out. Like it stresses me out. I can't wait till it's over. Ooh, it's just too much. It's too much drama. Like I'm not even adding the drama no more. It's just so much work. <laughs> oh, so much work, but I'm gonna finish it because everybody loves it and I'm enjoying it. So I'm gonna finish it. But yes, like I said, um, we copied that table a couple of times. I actually love what I did right here in the bar section. Um, that is just like a regular old bar. And I think, yeah, I put two together and diagonal it and tried to cover up the, the Z fighting, the little glitching that it's having. But it turned out this whole thing just looks really like it's really simple. Um, I kept saying that. Um, I knew that it wasn't going to be, I knew it wasn't going to be like difficult because the inside, I knew it wasn't going to be difficult because it just, it was going to be simple inside. I just wanted it to be very simplistic, just with a lot of details on the outside. That's all I wanted. It was just like pumpkins and hay and just very farm-like and it's really cute. Only thing, if I ever got married here in real life, the only thing I'd be worried about is like bugs and just like mud. Cause you know, when you go to pumpkin patches, it's like really muddy. I don't know, maybe because I don't, I feel like every time I've been to a pumpkin patch, it's just been like raining. Like it always rains at the damn pumpkin. What they got like weather clouds. Like now that I think about it, every time I've been to an actual farm, like just to go see the animals, it is raining. Oh my gosh. 
That's crazy. But I've been trying to find a pumpkin patch where I live because I really do want to go to the pumpkin patch. I haven't been since I was a kid, honestly. Last time I've been to the pumpkin patch, I think I was like 10. No, that's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. I went when I was in undergrad with a friend. Yeah, we went to the pumpkin patch. Oh, I remember that day. But we didn't do like, because we were older. I like to be a kid. Like, I love being a kid. And I was with my college friends and they just wanted to go get cider. And No, I want to, I love being a kid. Like, I will go to the pumpkin patch and I'll get on the hayride and then um, I will go get some ice cream because the pumpkin patch or the farm we used to go to had like a pumpkin patch and they had like this like like a little market. They had like uh, cider donuts and all kinds of like sweet treats and candy apples and homemade ice cream, which was the freaking best. And it had like pumpkin spiced ice cream and it was it was heaven. It was legit heaven. Oh, I really do want to find a pumpkin patch where I live because I would love for me and my boyfriend to go pumpkin picking, apple picking, and get some stuff. And I want to get a succulent. I want a succulent for Christmas. If y'all want to send me a Christmas gift, send it to my P.O. Box, a.k.a. I don't have one, a.k.a. send me one anyway. Because I want a succulent plant and a baby pumpkin and uh, some grits. So send it to my P.O. Box. Anyway. Uh, but yes, here, this is what I'm talking about, about trying to switch everything up. I don't know. Maybe I switched it back, did I? I don't know. I think I liked it. It was really nice. But um, I just decided to do some seating indoors. So um, I don't think we have like a, a dancing area. Like I wanted to put a DJ booth in. I think what I will do is put something like that outside because in front of the shed I wanted it to be an area for people to like sit around and I wanted to put some bar tables out there um but what I'm gonna do is I think I might add like a little DJ booth on the side of the um or in front of the shed and then people can dance and stuff out there because I kind of wanted that to be like the reception area inside for eating and drinking and like having fun and all that stuff but then like the dancing could be outside and with the pumpkin patch and stuff like that it's gonna be really cute I'm really excited i think what i'm gonna do though is like t player test it like have like a family that's about to get married on the lot to make sure like the actual arch works and make sure the pumpkin patch is like uh able to get to like you can route through everything so yes i love this little kitchen this is like my first it's not even a vintage kitchen but this is like my first like cottagey type kitchen i've ever made and i really liked it I thought I was going to request my stainless steel appliances, but I really, I really did like it. But right outside that small area in front of the shack, I would love to put like a small little wooden dance floor and it just be cute and all that good stuff. But we are about to approach the pictures in just a second. Um, the pictures are really, really brief. They're not that, they're not that intense because everything is kind of, detailed so you can see a lot in the pictures but yeah dang i've been talking for 30 minutes that's a lot of talking that's a lot of talk anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this bar let me know in the comments down below if you would want to see this up for a giveaway like if you're interested in having this in your game let me know in the comments down below and maybe we'll go ahead and do something with the giveaway but we changed those rose petals to pink and i just really love how everything came out we're just adding some pumpkins in the inside and i think that's about it we're gonna go right into the pictures but this wedding is happening more in the afternoonish time i really love how everything turned out i love all the lights and thank you guys so much for just being a part of the whole build like i streamed this i think two to three times and it has just been amazing and I love all of the finishing touches and I just love it so much but I'm gonna shut up I'm gonna let you guys go ahead and look at the pictures um thank you guys so much for tuning in I will see you guys in the next one remember to stay beautiful stay lovely and have a grand grand day bye guys